once Kuturo had done a little surgery, did the proud and powerful dragon finally did give him the Did you seriously just cut off my tail? Tell me you didn't just cut off my tail, because that is just... Don't even make me spell out the dookie you're in right now! Watch the right! for some heart! Got him! sliced right through Dragon's thunder clouds as he raced across the ether. This is my sky! My clouds! You don't get to be a wise guy with me! Oh, great! Now we've upgraded to full-on dragon breath.
where that came from. Slamming! That ain't nothing. been slain, and the souls of the children were free once again. Katoro! Another piece of the puzzle! <laughs> Just one more sword! And Monkey's business is no match for ours. Hey! Wait just a solar second! We beat Dragon! What gives? You're too late! All you did was ensure the gateway between the Earth and Moon stays open! Now... I need only wait. <laughs> Soon, the Moonware King would possess a more terrible power than ever. But Katara risked everything to stop the dragon. It can't have been for nothing. No, it's too soon to give up. We've still got the Moon Goddess. If we put the Moonstone back together, we can bring her back too. And with her on our side, that half-baked grizzly is toast. We've got to stay positive. Let's go find Monkey and make him cough up that last piece. 
That's right. You'll get your goddess. Now would you just hurry up? Goddess or no goddess, the tyrant's too strong now. If we get the moonstone back, Mew should send Putaro home where he belongs. Don't be crazy. Why would I ever do that? Kutaro is our last hope, especially mine. <laughs> You've stuck that warty nose of yours in my business for the last time! Meowsers, <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. With the dragon down and one moonstone shard to go, Kutura was certainly on a run. But with the witch in the tyrant's clutches and the power of countless souls at stake, it seemed the rolling would be uphill from here on out. With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kuturo! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Kutaro had decommissioned Dragon, but now the Moonbear King possessed a dreadful power. With the witch in captivity, what was a hero to do? The stage is set for the final act in Kutaro's saga. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Hot on General Monkey's heels, Kutaro and Picarina stumbled into a steep, snowy mess of peaks called the Mean Moon Mountains. The last Moonstone Shard was all Kutaro needed to free his soul from its puppet prison and return to his home down on Earth. But our hero remained troubled as he climbed. He knew General Dragon and that clock had given the Moonbear King control over every last child's soul. As Jack Frost nipped at the boy's fingers and toes, a cold and unshakable suspicion was starting to tug at his heart. Wait, Your Highness, this is all a terrible mistake. <laughs> and I to your fur looks especially lustrous today. Spare me the theatrics. I know exactly who you are. Uh, then get your grimy paws off me, Cappy! You thought you could pull a fast one on me, eh, Granny? But you were wrong! Once I've slapped down every last soul of every child on Earth, no moon goddess, not even the sun, will be able to stop me! Chose him for a reason. The power of the four champions will see him through to his final task. <laughs> He's going to restore the White Moonstone and bring light back to this realm, you poor stupid bear. I can't wait to watch him knock the stuffing out of you. 